What's going on? Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, probably. There's so many things you can do with your time, so many things you probably are interested in, your days are busy. Why did it make sense for you to invest in the Sounders and now? What, what, how did it come together for you to choose right now to invest in this team? It, it, it's, it's simple. You know, my wife is a diehard soccer fan. Uh, grew up playing soccer. I felt for, for that I wanted to be a part of something, uh, not only for myself, but for my kids to be, you know, proud of. And, and this is it. And, you know, my wife, we've been together for 31 years. You know, this is a family decision, but it was mainly, you know, she's been with me and I know that she loves soccer so much. And it all comes back to one city where we all started. That's awesome. That's amazing. The Sounders entered the league in 2009. I believe at that time you were still with the Mariners. Um, mm -hmm. what, were, what were some of your first impressions when the soccer team came into the city and it kind of took the city by storm? What, what, what do you remember from those days? That it was loud. So, you know, I remember uh, one day being at the house, my apartment downtown, and hearing the crowd where I was like, okay, am I listening to this on TV? Or is it really this loud? So I turned the TV down and uh, opened up the window. I was like, it's really that loud. So it was pretty exciting for, you know, for me uh, as far as, you know, a fan standpoint to be like, oh, that place is rocking down there. So it makes you want to get more and more involved. For many people, one of the highlights for the 2019 MLS Cup the final, the Sounders won, actually took place before the game when you performed um, Scarves Up Seattle in front of all the fans and you came up on a big screen. Um, what are your memories from that day? Well, I was a little nervous, oh. you know, cause, well, it, it's always, you know, because it ain't, it ain't my, you know, me playing, but balls hit to me and then it's all eyes on me. And it's totally opposite of what we're used to doing as professional athletes. For me, looking into a camera and speaking into a camera, I'm not used to that. If you say, go get a fly ball, I could do that. <laughs> How much of the fact that the Sounders have a winning tradition, a winning culture, you know, never miss the playoffs, have won trophies. Mm -hmm. How much of a fact mm -hmm. that the teams are success, did that play any role? A, a little bit, not much. I mean, there's something that I always want to be a part of, but you always want to be a part of a winning team. There's some people who play the game for money. There's some people who want to win championships. And, and there's some people that just, just play. Uh, but to be on a, a championship caliber team and an organization that wants to win and wants to compete and wants to go out there every single game and put the best product on the, on the field, not only for the guys that are in that locker room, but the 70,000 people that are watching and even the people that are sitting uh, at home watching. That's yeah. what you want. You want you want a winner. I wanted to be a part of it as soon as, you know, as soon as I heard about it, I was like, yes, I'm in. <laughs>